Hello friends, in this segment we will discuss about how to find Fourier series coefficients of the given continuous as well as discrete type signals. As you all know that Fourier series uh, representations are basically used to represent periodic signals. As we are having two types of signal which are basic, it can be periodic or it can be non-periodic signal. Now in this case, the question arises, how will you find Fourier series coefficient of the given function? So whenever you will get such kind of example where we have the fundamental frequency as omega naught, we will try to represent this function in terms of its exponential coefficient. Now this can be written as we are having two types of functions, you can see psi and cosine. So first thing we should able to write sin in terms of exponential as sin theta e raised to j theta minus e raised to minus j theta divided by 2j whereas for the cos representations we can use e j theta plus e minus j raised to theta divided by 2 at the same will represent in this case here I can write x of t as 1 plus this entire term is nothing but theta so I can write this in terms of exponential term as e raised to j to omega naught t minus e raised to minus j to omega naught t whole divided by 2j plus for cos I can put 2 as it is here it is exponential j to omega naught t plus exponential minus j to omega naught t divided by 2 plus cos of theta. So you can write this term as e raised to j 3 omega naught t plus pi by 3 plus e raised to minus j 2 omega naught t plus pi by 3 and this entire term is divided by 2. This will be the explanation or this will be the terms. Now when it is there, we will go on uh, the next point as distributing this entire term so that we can take the terms which are going to be common. The common terms if you see here it is e raised to j2, e raised to j2, e raised to minus j2, e raised to minus j2. So based on that we can collect the terms as simplifying this term as 1 plus 1 upon 2j e raised to 2j omega naught t minus 1 by 2j e raised to minus 2j omega naught t plus this 2 this 2 will get cancelled we are left with e raised to j 2 omega naught t plus e raised to minus j 2 omega naught t similarly for this term I can write 1 upon 2 e raised to j if I simplify this term I can write this as j 3 omega naught t into e raised to j pi by 3 now I have simplified this based on a formula if the base is same we can add the power terms which will be this term similarly 1 by 2 e raised to minus j this is 3 omega naught t into e raised to minus j pi divided by 3. Now collecting the common terms, we are having two common terms, this as well as this term. So if I take this term as common, e raised to j 2 omega naught t, we will left with 1 plus 1 by 2j, e raised to j 2 omega naught t. Similarly, if I take e raised to minus j 2, we are left with 1 minus 1 by 2j into e raised to minus j2 omega naught t plus this term 1 by 2 e raised to j pi by 3 into e raised to j3 omega naught t plus 1 by 2 e raised to minus j pi by 3 into e raised to minus j3 omega naught t. I will put this as equation number 1. Now, Finding the Fourier series coefficient 
we'll simplify this term as well as we'll compare this with standard form of Fourier series representation which I am writing the formula here it is x of t will be written as summation minus 2 plus infinity a k into e raised to j k omega naught t this is called as Fourier series representation of continuous time signal where a k is basically known as Fourier series coefficients now if you see the range it is from minus 2 plus if I put some of the values like negative terms I am starting from minus 1 so I am putting it here from minus infinity plus now if I consider k minus 1 here we will get a minus 1 into e raise k1 means minus j omega naught t plus minus 1 then it should be 0 I can put this value as a0 and this term e raise to j 0 and know that e raise to 0 will be 1 so we will get dc term as a0 plus next value a1 this becomes e raise to j omega naught t if I get another value a2 this will be e raise to j to omega naught t plus so on up to infinity this I am considering equation number 2 now if you compare both these equations now we will compare equation number 1 with equation number 2 if you see the first term over here is 1 and here it is not at all multiplied with any of the exponential term so we can consider this as what the dc term which is equivalent to what a0 so I can put the first value a0 becomes equals to 1 that means the first Fourier series coefficient we got is 1 similarly if I come back to the next one this term here the exponential term is multiplied with 2 so if it is multiplied with 2 definitely this is going to be the second term that we will get as a2 as that should be plus 2 as 1 plus 1 upon 2j similarly here e raise to minus j2 that means k is going to be minus 2 so if it is k minus 2 this becomes our a minus 2 coefficient so I am writing this value a minus 2 will be here it is 1 minus 1 by 2j similarly if I go on to the next value here it is multiplied by 3 so positive coefficient minus 3 negative coefficient so we will get this term as a3 as e raise to j pi by 3 divided by 2 similarly a minus 3 as e raise to minus j pi by 3 divided by 2. you can see the same values this is a minus 3 a plus 3 so what about remaining terms definitely the values are going to be 1 that is a1 a minus 1 will be 0 and remaining all coefficients and the values are going to be c so this is the method by which we can find Fourier series coefficient of the given continuous time signal provided that the first term comes into mind is what omega naught so this is about finding the Fourier series coefficient thank you